today's episode of Cooking for Real, we're making turkey pot pie. So rings off everybody because we're going to make a crust from scratch. My crust is different from other people's crust because I do it sort of the old fashioned way. So what we're going to need here is two cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of Crisco. You also need about a half teaspoon to a total teaspoon of regular table salt, not the coarse ground kosher salt. And I am adding flavor to mine because I'm making a savory pie. So what you see here is about a tablespoon of granulated uh, garlic and about a tablespoon of oregano, which will give it almost a pizza taste. So uh, next thing we're going to do is we're actually gonna get our hands in there and mash all this up. Um, keep in mind you need a couple of tablespoons of cold water to the side. Once you have it well incorporated and it looks like it is, you don't want any big lumps in here. Just dig down and make sure you've gotten up everything from the bottom. Ingredients like to hide. Then we're going to start adding in the cold water that I carefully have put off. Maybe a half a tablespoon at a time. You're looking to form a ball. Then it's time to divide it because this is a two crust pie. We're gonna make a top crust and a bottom crust. And we're gonna let this rest. So now we're gonna start on our filling. I have two pans out. This one, my trusty cast iron, and this one is a stainless steel. And we are going to make the sauce in the stainless steel. And I am going to pre-cook my potatoes in the cast iron. Here what I have is my homemade turkey stock. Um, it's a bone stock. I cooked down the bones after Thanksgiving. It froze this and I have two cups here that I'm going to get heated up. Once that's heated up, I'm actually going to um, add some thickening to it. What I'm doing here is making the thickener for the, the sauce that's going to go in the pot pie. This is about a quarter of, of a cup of cold, cold water and two tablespoons of cornstarch. So you really, and I probably should have started this up before the cornstarch coagulated at the bottom, which it has. Let me just break that up and we'll get it mixed in there. You could just whisk it with a fork. And this is actually the place where I'm going to add the seasoning. So what I have here is a tablespoon of Bell's turkey seasoning. Um, two or three grinds of coarse ground pepper and a tablespoon of salt. Just going to put that in there and we're going to whisk it all right into the thickener. And here it is now with everything mixed in appropriately. Now that I've got this pan good and hot, I'm actually going to put in my finely diced onion. This is a small to medium onion. And then I've got three cloves of garlic sliced. You see a little black in there. It's actually a little bit of pepper. We're going to get that going now. And you may see in the background that my stock has started to boil. I want it to reduce a little bit before I add anything else. I'm actually going to turn this down. It's a little too hot. We've turned this down to a simmer. Let me show you right here. This is the, the stock, which actually smells really good. And now we have that thickener that I created and we're gonna slowly drizzle this in and just stir it in. So once we get this all incorporated, we're going to let it simmer and thicken. That dough, that was my pestle. That dough came out a bit drier than intended, and that is because I added the extra ingredients of the, the um, granulated um, garlic. And maybe I'll show you the blooper where I oh, realized no. my mistake. But 
I've added a little bit more water and as you can see now the dough is working well. Um, it's not a perfect dough. It's not going to be pretty. So now you see here I'm using my, my pie plate which, which is actually greased a little bit with Crisco to see if um, I've rolled it out big enough because I do know that it's thin enough. And then I'm going to fold this crust into quarters and place it in the pan and unfold it. And once it's in the pan, I'm going to take the excess off the edges and use it to fix where the crust wasn't perfectly round and fill in little cracks and little holes and press it into place. And as ugly as this crust is, it will be delicious. Now it's time to start layering up our pie. First up into the pie shell is these lovely potatoes, which I'm, they're not cooked 100% and I'm putting them in first so they will actually be closer to the heat. Now remember that within these potatoes is the garlic and the onion. So we'll just move that around. And now we have cooked baby carrots. You see a little liquid in there, so let's do it this way. And now we have turkey. What I have here is uh, about a pint or, um, you know, a pound of turkey. And this is a 9 inch pie shell that I am putting all of this food into. And now I'm going to go and get that beautiful sauce. See how thick and dark it got? Whoops! Well, these things happen, that's why man invented paper towels. And now for our top crust. Whoops. <laughs> Poke a few vent holes. Even though it didn't seal. Poke a few vent holes. <laughs> So I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees and I rubbed down that top crust with a little bit of Crisco and a slight sprinkling of salt. We're going to leave this in this 400 degree oven for about 45 minutes. Here we are then. Time for the big reveal. Turkey pot pie. And I'm afraid you've caught me in my robe again. Just to let it cool down enough to cut it and then we're all set turning the oven off. Thank you for joining me today on Cooking For Real Turkey Pot Pie with Homemade Crust. If you're enjoying watching Cooking For Real, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you can also find my page on Facebook at Cooking For Real with Angela.